first, fair, everywhere. Well, he is a big time news anchor, but his most important job is being a father. Recently, he had to sit by and watch his daughter nearly die because of a misdiagnosis. Today, he is in Cleveland for a national medical conference to tell his story. Our Vic Gideon was there. You may have seen Jake Tapper on CNN covering the big stories impacting our nation. But there's one story you probably didn't hear about. It involves his daughter, Alice. Her appendicitis was misdiagnosed. She almost died. Two years ago, Tapper and his wife Jennifer took the then 14-year-old to the hospital to get help. Doctors thought it was a viral infection. The flu, a stomach bug, they were not taking into account all the pain that I was in. The Tappers say instead of doing a myriad of tests that would have caught what Alice was actually going through, an appendicitis, they stuck to the original diagnosis of the infection. Alice nearly died. I had felt um, helpless. Where else was I going to go? I was already at a children's hospital. A call to the hospital eventually saved Alice's life, but it was then the Tappers realized they were not alone. One in 12 Americans will experience a misdiagnosis, a delayed diagnosis, or an incorrect diagnosis. Something like 7,000 kids a year die of sepsis, which is quite often very preventable. Misdiagnosis brought Alice and Jake Tapper to Cleveland for the annual conference for the Society to Improve Diagnosis in Medicine. This has become a family cause, not because we're trying to get revenge, but because we are trying to make sure that no other family goes through this ever again. Come on, appendicitis. Jennifer Tapper wants their story to serve as a warning for everyone. It's their personal crusade now. She says, ask questions, demand answers, do your own research, and be your own advocate. Vic Gideon, 19 News.